Benedict, lovely to meet you. Congrats on the film. Tell me, how on earth do you prepare for a role like this? How long have we got? <laughs> quite, <laughs> quite a lot. I mean, I had a long runway. I met Jane almost a year before. And she said, look, I really want you to have time with this, right? I know it's far away from what you've played and who you are. And I, I see you and I see him and I know there's a marriage there. But um, tell us what you need. And I said, I need to go to dude camp. I need to know what ranching is and, and brush up on my horse riding Western style. I need to, because it's a very different saddle, very different technique. I need to understand roping and braiding and treatments of hide. And I need to understand cattle and that sort of interaction. So I went to two ranches, went to two branding events. And am I right in saying that you and Kirsten were kept apart? We were, yeah. Was there ever any moments where you just wanted to give her a hug because your character is so horrible to her? Oh, yeah, I did. Not not, not on set, no. I mean, because I really was. I mean, Jane gave me such permission to be him, which is the first time I've really had that and not being worried about things I worry I mean I'm so apologetic and I'm a people pleaser and Phil's none of those things so she saw that in me very early on she was like look you've got to be him from you know yeah. dusk till dawn when we're shooting and she introduced me I said you've got to help me and she introduced me to the crew's Phil and said you'll meet Benedict afterwards he's really nice this is Phil um, and so it just meant I could kind of go there you know and not feel embarrassed about it which I did on the first few days of course I did I was very self-conscious but even after the first day I went okay He's there enough and I don't need to impress people with him or the acting of him, so I'm just gonna relax and, and enjoy it. And I, and, I, and I kind of got into it. And Kirsten and I saw a lot of each other over the weekend with Jesse and our kids, so we were all there as families together. But yeah, it was, no, nope, it was, there was a complete kind of cut off during the working week. And I feel like we need to have a moment for the trousers. I mean, that yeah. helped you get Those chaps. <laughs> they certainly do. I mean, you know, let alone, you know, what they look like, just how they feel, the weight of them, and just that kind of spraddle-legged horse riders kind of stance and and, um, and walk, you know, all of that fed into yeah. fed into him. Um, but they are extraordinary. I remember the costume physique. I really fought for the bibs, actually. I fought for the overalls. <laughs> James was like, oh, they're not very sexy, they're not very, and I said, that's, he, he's not interested in being sexy. <laughs> It's just what they are. And your character in this, Phil, he pretty much wears the same outfit for the whole film and he doesn't like to wash. You didn't go full method on that, did you? Yep. <laughs> did you actually? Yeah, I didn't have the costume washed for the shoot, pretty much, yeah. Was that not really uncomfortable? No, it's all right. It's okay. I mean, it was hard. There was a period in rehearsals where I didn't wash my body for about a week, which is just so bizarre. Well, you just like social distancing everyone. Yeah, but then, but then it was like, um, oh, let's go and get something to eat. You know, James sort of trying to sort of build the sort of social dynamic. The <laughs> I was like, I don't really want to do that, smelling or feeling like I do inside this sort of stuff. But um, <laughs> thankfully, my family, yeah, they were they were spared that. They I had two weeks on my own doing prep work out there and. Uh, in Queenstown. Well, I hope you get all the awards for this. Thank oh, you man. Very much. Thank you very much.